final leg. So we don't have any results to recap from this past weekend, but on Friday, the NCAA championships are going to be kicking off in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I want to give you guys nine events that I'm personally looking forward to and some potential NCAA records that I think might be on the line. Let's start off with that women's 60 meter dash here. I think the NCAA record might be in jeopardy. It's 7.07 seconds. So we have a lot of ladies who are getting into that range. Julian Alfred from Texas, NCAA leader already this season, 7.1 zero seconds and she had run 7.13 and 7.15 on two occasions so she's very consistent already in that 7.1 range and definitely on the lookout for that NCAA title but she has competition Cambria Sturgis from North Carolina A&T she has run 7.15 seconds last year at the outdoor championships she got third in the 200 meters so definitely looking to improve upon that here in indoors also Twanisha Terry from USC ran 7.15 this year she is the defending NCAA champion in that 60 meter dash from last year indoors so definitely in the hunt for a defense of her title also Katia Seymour Chelsea Francis all these ladies are going to be in that race so keep a lookout for that women's 60. Now let's keep it in the sprints but on the men's side in that 400 meters this is another race that's definitely going to be hotly contested Randolph Ross the freshman from North Carolina a and he has run a best of 45.44 seconds to lead the NCAA this season also at the MIAC championships they ran on a flat track and he won that race in a time that converted to 45.53 seconds so very consistent this season but can't forget about Bryce Deadman. he's a senior at Texas A&M best of 45.51 seconds to win those SEC championships he's definitely going to be in the mix Wayne Lawrence Jr. from Iowa 45.56 seconds this season and also the freshman from Texas A&M Jamal Walton he managed to run 45.62 seconds in the 2020 indoor season so a lot of these guys in that range of 45 45.5, 6, 45.5, and of course Ross at 45.4. They're going to be in the hunt for that NCAA title. Some other guys, Ja'Cory Patterson, we can't forget about him. Quincy Hall from South Carolina, he's definitely going to be in the mix, as well as Trevor Stewart. He's definitely going to be one to look out for. So men's 400 meters, definitely one of the events I'm keeping an eye out for. Jumping back to the women's side, but in the 60 meter hurdles, another event that's going to be hotly contested. Tania Marshall from LSU has been tearing up the track all season. She has a best of 7.86 seconds which makes her number three in the NCAA all time. And she has to boot that out of the four 60 meter hurdle finals she ran this year, three of those times have been under 7.90 seconds. So the consistency is unmatched and she's going for that NCAA title. We can't forget about Grace Stark. She's a freshman at Florida. At those SEC champs, she ran two races, the prelims and the finals. Both of those were under the world under 20 record. So she owns the world under 20 record for the indoor 60 meter hurdles, best of seven. 7.91 seconds definitely going to be fighting to get on the top of that podium with Tania Marshall as well can't forget about Tiara McMinn from Miami and also Aaliyah Armstrong from LSU both these ladies under eight seconds this season and also Anna Cockrell from USC she's definitely going to be in the mix here as well so keep a lookout for that women's 60 meter hurdles now let's bump things up to the distance that women's 800 meters another event I think is on NCAA record watch Nia Aikens from the University of Penn she is coming here to potentially get that NCAA title a best this year of 2 minutes and 71 seconds which makes her number 2 all time in the NCAA. That's why I think she might be able to push towards that NCAA record. She was second place indoors last year in the 800 and outdoors last year so she's looking to get that first place and get her first title here at NCAAs. She's going to have some competition though. Carly Thomas, the freshman at Washington ran 2 minutes 2.75 seconds so not too far off Aiken's heels. Amber Tanner from Georgia Michaela Meyer from Delaware also Danny Jones from Colorado. She's going to be looking to do an 800 mile double here at NCAA champ so she's definitely going to be challenging for the title and she's already a four-time NCAA champion at 5,000 meters 3,000 meters the DMR and the cross-country 6k so Danny Jones is definitely going to be in the mix keep a look out for that women's 800 meters still in the distance but this time in the women's 3,000 meters another race we definitely got to keep an eye out for Whitney Orton from BYU she's been very consistent and leads the NCAA this season eight minutes 49.63 seconds but a lot of ladies are right on her heels. Alicia Monson, who's number three all time in the NCAA from last year, she has a best of 853.69 seconds. And again, she's number three in the NCAA all time, and she's the indoor 5K champ from last year. So she's dropping down to that 3K. Gonna see what she does here. Wayne Kalati, though, is gonna be one of the top runners here. She has a best of 854.66 seconds. She's a 10K outdoor champ and was third in this 3,000 meters last year. So going for that first place. Also, Ella 
Noel Donahue from Stanford and Katie Izzo from Arkansas. All these ladies are going to be in that race to make this a very hotly contested 3000 meters. Back on the men's side, but still in that 3000 meters, this men's 3K might be one of the best races of the entire weekend. First off, the three top guys, the boys at Northern Arizona, Luis Grijalva, Jordi Beamish, and Tyler Day, they are coming here to potentially sweep this 3K, but a lot of competition is going to come from Cooper Tier from Oregon and Yared Nagus from Notre Dame. Tier and Nagus, they both skipped out on the mile. They were two of the top ranked guys in that mile, but they skipped out on it. They're coming for that 3K, trying to break up that Northern Arizona sweep. So we're going to see some great races here. Definitely another race to look out for that men's 3K. Now, moving from the track onto the field, first off that men's pole vault, another event, NCAA record watch. Chris Nielsen from South Dakota, he already broke the NCAA record this season, 5.93 meters earlier this year. Definitely potentially going to break that mark at NCAA champs. He also has jumped over 5.80 meters three times this season alone. So very consistent, definitely the favorite for those NCAA champs. But we also have Casey Lightfoot from Baylor. He has jumped 5.83 meters. So definitely on the lookout to potentially get that gold and steal something away from Nielsen if Nielsen has a bad day. Lightfoot has already jumped 5.80 meters or better three times this season as well. So very, very consistent along with Nielsen there. Zach Bradford from Kansas, 5.80 meters this season. And also Brandon Ellis from Stephen F. Austin. He has jumped 5.80 meters. So all these guys and some others are in the mix here. Definitely keep a lookout for that NCAA record potentially going down in this men's pole vault. The women's high jump. This has been one of my favorite events all NCAA season. Ellen Ekholm from Kentucky and Abigail O'Donohue from LSU have been going back and forth all season. Both of them essentially trading the NCAA lead throughout the season. But Ellen Ekholm got the best of them at those SEC champs, getting out to a best of 1.91 meters to lead NCAAs going into those championships. O'Donohue is not too far behind at 1.89 meters. So very strong performances from both these ladies. This is going to be a huge matchup at those NCAA champs. Finally, let's end things off. The men's long jump, another one that's going to have some great competition, especially at the top. Kerry McLeod from Tennessee. He leads the NCAAs this year at 8.19 meters. He just transferred from Division II, so this will be his first time at NCAA champs, but he's going to have Javon Harrison from LSU and Rayvon Gray from LSU right on his heels. Rayvon Gray, he's a defending indoor champion at the long jump, has a best of 8.09 meters, but Javon Harrison, he's a defending outdoor champion, has a best this year of 8.11 meters. Harrison is going to be going for a long jump, high jump double at these NCAA champs. Outdoors, he won the long jump and high jump, so look out for these three guys in that long jump. Alright, so those are the events to look out for. Do have to note, I think Olivia Groover in the women's pole vault, she's definitely going to be chasing that NCAA record in the pole vault there. She already jumped the number two performance all time in the NCAA at 4.70 meters earlier this season, and she has jumped 4.66 meters, 4.60 meters, so she's been very consistent. Definitely one to look out for when it comes to these NCAA champs for that record. Alright, so let me know what you guys are going to be looking forward to at these NCAA champs. There's so many athletes, so many events that are going to be highlighting this next weekend, so keep tuning in. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again very soon. Thanks.